Thank you all and good afternoon. I'm joined here today by Minister of Health Adriana LaGrange, Minister of Jobs, Economy and Trade Matt Jones, Panel Chair Rick Hansen, and Dr. Laura McDougall, Senior Medical Officer of Health at Alberta Health Services for an important update on work we're doing to improve food safety in child care settings. Last fall, families in Calgary experienced a living nightmare, an E. coli outbreak affecting 17 licensed child care facilities around the city. More than 400 people, mostly children, became ill during the most serious E. coli outbreak in Alberta's history. 39 individuals were sick enough to require hospitalization, and some of them are still requiring long-term health support as a result. Thankfully, families were spared the worst. There were no deaths resulting from this outbreak. But while the situation didn't end in deaths, we do recognize the devastating impact it had on those who were affected by it. The children who got sick and their family members who suffered the pain and anxiety of watching their loved ones fight for their lives. Some impacts are still being felt today, almost a year later. When parents put their children in daycare, they do so trusting that their kids will be cared for and kept safe. And that's because we have systems in place to regulate and monitor health and safety practices in licensed facilities. We know this outbreak has shaken that trust. And as policymakers, we must do whatever we can to ensure this doesn't happen again. During the crisis, our top priorities were lo looking after the people who got sick and tracking and containing the source of the outbreak. But we also recognized that we needed a clearer understanding of how it happened. That's why as the crisis was unfolding last September, I called for the creation of a review panel to get to the bottom of what caused the outbreak and to ensure the policies are in place to hold operators accountable and to prevent it from happening again. The review panel, led by former Calgary Police Chief Rick Hansen, was made up of child care operators, a food service operator, and subject matter experts, including a pediatrician who treated some of the children. Their task was to conduct a comprehensive review of the government policies and food safety practices that keep our children safe. The review panel carefully considered every angle of this issue over seven months. Their work included a thorough review of the relevant legislation, regulations and inspection processes, as well as an engagement with people involved in the outbreak. The review panel produced a report with 12 primary recommendations and 27 sub-recommendations for strengthening food safety in Alberta's licensed child care facilities and the kitchens that serve them. These recommendations include promoting a culture of food safety, making improvements to legislation and inspection systems for food safety, and establishing new major investigations protocols with consequences for operators who've been found to have repeat violations and better supporting, uh, pardon me, and supporting better system alignment and integration in our food safety system. I do have to thank the panel members for their work and their dedication to this critical task. It's exactly the kind of thorough solutions-oriented analysis I expected when appointing a 40-year law enforcement veteran to chair the review panel. Since receiving the report, our government has been studying its recommendations carefully. We will be acting on some of the recommendations immediately. Some will require us to change existing laws and regulations, and others will require more considerations so we fully understand how they'll impact childcare operators, food service operators, and families. But let me be clear, it's our government's intention to act on every recommendation we can to protect the children's safety and to restore trust in the system. Thanks to the members of the review panel, what we have here is a detailed roadmap for improving food safety in Alberta. And those improvements to policies are exactly what we'll deliver.